What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we are doing another Chasing the Best Work footwear. So this might be the last video of the series for a while because this gets expensive. So uh, if you don't know already, I'm 100% non-biased. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I buy everything with my own money and that way I'm, my opinions are not bought. So uh, I'm going to go over the Timberland Pro Boondock 6 inch composite toe today. So if you're interested in seeing something like that, stay tuned. Right, guys welcome to the channel let's get down to it uh, first of all if you're not subscribed already I appreciate that subscription uh, follow me along on the channel as I'm coming out with videos every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at noon uh, we're doing all kinds of man stuff today is boots tomorrow might be you know chainsaws who, who knows uh, it's whatever I come up with so let's talk about these boondocks um, these boots come in around 175 to 200 dollars depending on where you get them from so uh, it, it just depends if you can hook it up on a deal uh, and find them uh, I, I highly recommend this boot uh, I have had a lot of miles in these boots I bought these in June 2017 so uh, we're going on two or over two years now so uh, one thing that I will always do before I make a review is make sure that I truly vet the product and that I'm not uh, you know w we might do some brand new unboxing but I'm gonna give you you know that straight up front and let you know that I just got it and then we usually do updates so a two-year update on these boots um, apparently I had uh, the laces tucked in the other boot I really really like these boots uh, they have a very good uh, tread on them. They're very uh, uh, they're, they're very aggressive tread. Uh, they do well in the winter. So I usually uh, wear these in the snow um, or cutting wood. Uh, that's why I like them with the composite toe. Um, I don't need to worry about a log rolling over on my foot. Um, these originally uh, took the place of the Pit Boss, I think it is, the Timberland Pro Pit Boss. Um, I wore those out pretty much uh, to where I couldn't wear them anymore and replaced them with these. So th this is a very good boot. Um, the only bad thing I have to say about this boot is it's heavy. Um, let's, let's go ahead and w measure it right now. Um, go ahead. Come on. All right. All right. So two pounds, six ounces uh, actually comes in right at the same amount uh, or the same... Um, uh, weight as the grid works so I have my grid works on the uh, on the boot dryer right now uh, wore these today at work so exact same exact same uh, weight as the grid works so I really like this boot I highly recommend this one if you do not need the aggressive sole on the bottom and you're working on concrete all day uh, this is the go-to boot um, I, I, I like this a lot a lot a lot a lot um, I've also done the video on the Thorough Good Mock Toes. Highly recommend those as well. Um, but I'm still breaking those in, so they're still hurting my feet. These, uh, let's get down to the real reason why we're here. So, uh, back to these bad boys. Great stitching, great. I love this, uh, this uh, uh, the black part that's, that's basically a rubberized, um, kind of thick part on the back of the heel. Love this because when you go to take off your take off your boots um, it's great for that I've actually torn up the leather on a lot of my boots by doing that you usually peel them off your feet by you know one one boot over the other so I definitely like that they look cool um, they hold up well to salt um, I've had a lot of mink oil on these uh, as long as you keep them washed and um, keep them conditioned these boots will last you um, these boots look like I've practically not worn them um, and that's not true whatsoever they've been through a, a lot with me they've been through many many steps um, I probably put these probably around the 1 million step mark since I've had them for two years I've easily worn them for a million steps um, you don't really notice how heavy they are uh, they're a little clunky out on the toe because of the composite toe so they are their their profile is a little large here on the front of the boot but it's really not that big of a deal they've 
even uh, uh, made a, a armored front toe, so for kicking stuff and moving stuff around, I use them a lot, and you really can't even tell the wear and tear. Uh, for a six inch boot, this is, this is awesome. Um, you know, when we talk about mock toe or we talk about the grid works, that's an eight inch boot that'll pretty much get you on any construction site. You don't need to worry about it. Um, if you're looking for a six inch composite toe, um, this comes right up there with the Thero, the Thorough Good uh, six inch composite toe um, side by side. Uh, I think I have those sitting around here too. Hold on. So this is the six inch uh, composite toe by Thorough Good. Heck, I, I, it looks like I have a style that I like. Uh, <laughs> they, they all look the same regardless of manufacturer. So this is also a really good boot. Um, I, I know I'm showing a bunch of different boots now, but I'm getting excited. So uh, I would definitely put this at the top of my list. Uh, it, it's probably a close second. Um, I would I would definitely recommend the Thorough Good uh, six inch over this Boondock, but these Boondocks are very good. Of course, your Thorough Goods are going to cost you more money. So it just depends on your budget, depends on your style. Um, some people just don't like this style. Some people think that you know, if you have a, a, a black toe on the front, that it should be polished and you know it should look like that. Yeah, whatever. Um, some people get all get all offended that you don't have you know a boot looking like they think you should. So it's a very good boot. Uh, the insole is one of those anti-fatigue um, insoles. Uh, there's just a lot of good things about these boots. Yeah, all of these are going to run a little hot because they are full leather, and this style here is waterproof. So it might run a little hot on you, but uh, for the most part, this is a pretty darn good boot. Um, I haven't noticed any crazy wear issues. I actually can't tell that these are these have a lot of wear at all. Um, it's got a, f a fairly uh, a hard sole on it, oil resistant, slip resistant. I mean, you couldn't ask much more. Uh, Timberland Pro is definitely a good company to um, invest your money with. And when it comes to footwear, they do pretty darn good. I mean, heck, I've got three or four pairs of their boots. Um, that and Thorough Good, man, you can't go wrong. Uh, th these definitely second place. But um, I would highly recommend these. If you're looking under the $200 mark, these are easily had under $200. Um, if you're looking on the internet here, let's go into Amazon. I'll put a uh, link to the Amazon uh, below in the description. And exactly what I'm looking at here, I will uh, put it here. So it depends on the size. Um, these are also part of Prime Wardrobe, which I highly recommend. If you don't know anything about Prime Wardrobe, this is not a plug. This is something that I've used before in the past. Um, they send you the pair of boots or the clothes, whatever you get on Prime Wardrobe. They'll send you the pair of boots and then you can try them on, wear them around the house. As long as you don't take them outside, get them dirty, and they, can, they can't tell that you physically wore them, then you can send them back and you get your money back. So you're charged nothing. Um, I did this for a bunch of pairs of boots. I might do this in the, in the future for some reviews. But you're kind of limited to what you can wear around the house. You can't get them dirty. You can't take them outside. It's not like you're going to go walk up and down the driveway to see how you like them. You're pretty much going to have to have them in booties or... Uh, or around the house so you don't get them dirty if you want to return them. So part of the Prime wardrobe, uh, these are uh, size 10. I have little feet, uh, 180 bucks. So 180 bucks, not bad. Um, definitely a lot cheaper than the 230 some dollars you gotta pay for the Thorough Goods. So if you're looking to save a little money, you need a six inch composite toe. This is probably your best bang for your buck. Um, there are other manufacturers out there, but I just, I just love Timberland Pro a lot, and this boot has held up great. Heck, after you wash it and you get some mink oil on it, they look like new. And I just love the style. It looks cool uh, on your foot. It's just, it's just awesome. So I hope you guys uh, at least got the gist of it. I'm, I, yeah, I'm a Timberland fanboy. I'm also a thorough good fanboy. I, I like boots all together. I like nice stuff. So I would definitely put it you know, on my list, if you guys are looking at it, go ahead and buy it. I, I have nothing bad to say about this boot. Um, you know, other than it might be a little heavy. Two pounds, six ounces is pretty heavy on your, on your, uh, on your shins, on your knees, on your back, really. 
Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope to see you click subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And uh, if you're somebody that's subscribed already and you've been following along in these videos, I appreciate you coming out and watching my videos. And as always, we'll see you guys in the next video.